Hello, hello, it is I, Lai Yosh. Today we're going to be talking about this one everyday activity that we all do that is secretly killing us. And this activity, I'm sure that all of you, like literally all of you, have done so many times in our lives. No one should be off the hook. And it's something that you might think is helping you or is making your life easier at least. But it isn't. Welcome to reality. It is something that is related to your health. And at this point, some might say that, oh, I'm sure I'm completely fine, or at least I have a little bit of an escape route because I'm a health nerd that I exercise on a daily basis. And I feel like I'm adding a cherry on the top. But I must say that although you may think that you'll be fine because you make exercise a daily habit, so the damage should, you know, cancel out. Sorry to say, but the damage caused by this daily activity cannot be reduced, diminished, or altered in any way by any amount of exercise you do. And the surprising activity is, drumroll please, it is sitting down. Now that I've told you all this, weren't you surprised by it? Didn't you think that sitting down, you know, actually helped you relax and rest compared to standing up or, up or standing up or walking? Didn't you think as a species that are able to walk upright, humans need time to sit, to sit down and rest? What would be the alternative if sitting down is really bad? Always standing up? That seems hard. Do we have to practice sleeping while standing up? That sounds horrible. I know you have a million and one question, so I'll support my claim with evidence like I always do. So today's study is done at the college in Japan, Kyoto. Uh, it has done a cohort study using over 60,000 samples in the country and followed them for over seven years. And that study and that study and the study found that regardless of having lifestyle diseases, the more time you spent sitting down positively correlated with moral with mortality rate. And this correlation wasn't affected in any way even when the samples increase the amount of their exercise. Welcome to Life Study Library. I'm your host, Lai Yosh. In this channel, I'm going to be talking about these interesting scientific and psychological information by implementing data from scientific studies. So if you're interested and want to watch more of my past and my future content, then please subscribe, like this video, uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and please enjoy the video. All right, let's go. So today's study was published in 2021, a really brand new study obviously, which collected 64,456 people in Japan and studied them for over 7.7 .7 years. Because the sample is, is of a common collective, so having a lot of people from the same place, this makes it a cohort study. And as usual with any other study, the more sample number you have, the better quality and accuracy the results will become. But anyways, back to the study. The entirety of the study was separated into three key factors. One, the amount of time you sit and its relationship with every different kind of death, including but not limited to accident, illness, or even murder. Two, the existence or the non-existence of lifestyle diseases like diabetes. And, and three, how much time the samples spent exercising. Putting these to Putting these into consideration, the study team found the, an interesting result that suggested every two hour increase of sitting time increased the death rate by 15%. Additionally, combining this with the existence of lifestyle diseases, so you know, diabetes, this, this further increased the rate in which you die. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's kind of confusing, so I'll give an example. So having Lipid disorder increased the rate of death by 18%, high blood pressure equaled 20% increase, diabetes 27% increase. These are, the, these are the three examples that the study examined. And additionally, the study also found that people who had all three of these diseases had a 42% increase in death rate. This should come out to you as insane, considering how normal sitting down has become in the modern era. So many of us work for so many hours while sitting down. Obviously, we sit down while we, while we drive, or even when we use public transport, we always look for an open seat. We literally fight for an open seat. 
and then we come home and most likely spend a good amount of time on a couch or a chair of some kind. Now the main point and the kind of the surprising part of the study. This whole thing wasn't affected at all when the samples increased their exercise time. A common excuse I could hear when they tell you this is that, well, I live a very healthy lifestyle. Diseases like diabetes are the furthest thing away from me because I exercise daily. I get that sitting down all the time is bad because it can block your blood flow and all that, and that'll cause a slow metabolism. But exercise has to help, right? And to this, I'm going to have to disappoint you because the team figured out through the, the study that although there are a small chance of improvement, in the death rate in the case of diabetes. Otherwise, there were almost no change in everything else. So the only positive influence you'll get by exercising on the chance of you dying from sitting down is in the case with diabetes. If you know you sit down a lot and have diabetes, there's a minor chance, minor benefit you can get from increasing the amount you work out. But it's still a super small increase and it's barely significant and noticeable. The study concludes by proving the point that it's a mistake to think it's okay, if, it's okay if I sit for a long time because I also work out a lot. That statement and mindset is incorrect and is very, very dangerous. Additionally, the reason why Japanese people were chosen as the samples was because people in Japan tend to spend more working hours sitting down than people from most other countries. And to be honest, I think Japan is the number one country that makes its citizens sit. So if they experience this much damage, I think it's safe to say that people in other countries should learn from this advice. But what advice, you might ask? If sitting down is bad for you, then what would be the alternative? Well, personally what I do to avoid sitting down as much as possible is that I bought myself a standing desk and removed my old regular desk so that I could force myself to stand while I work. I try to make my life so that the only time I'm not standing up is when I'm eating and when I'm sleeping. I sit while eating because I need that moment for the food to digest, and while sleeping because the human body will rest the best if you lay down while you sleep. I have some links to a few really good standing decks I liked in the, descri in the de uh, description. They range at about $200 to $500, so not something that you can buy instinctively, but considering the benefits you can attain, I think it's a very affordable purchase. And with that, I'm done with the topic for today. Oh, well, it seems shorter, but okay. Uh, yeah, anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot from it. One of my goals for this channel is to cover as many topics as possible, and I've always wanted to cover health, diet, and exercise because you know, health, diet, and exercise is such an important thing that we need to educate ourselves about. Personally, I believe it's one of, if not the most important topic for education because our body and health is our capital. I'm going to be talking about this topic extensively in, in future videos, so to make sure you don't miss out, I highly recommend you subscribe to my channel to watch more upcoming videos on this or any other topic. But until then, Kiss your desk work goodbye, remove chairs and regular desks from your life, buy yourself a good standing desk, and enjoy a longer, healthier, and a safer life. Or you don't have to do all that once. You can just you can start small, you can start, you know, wherever you can. Again, please subscribe to my channel as that'll be the best form of support and the kindest gesture you can have on me. And I appreciate you so much for doing that. I appreciate you for listening until this point and I'll see you in another video. Bye.